My name's Chris. Uh, when I was 22 years old, I left Glasgow and moved down to Surrey. My rent doubled overnight. <laughs> but so did my life expectancy. <laughs> Moving down south literally gave me a second chance. <laughs> to have a midlife crisis. <laughs> Honestly, I felt like someone who went on holiday the day before Chernobyl. <laughs> I learned a lot, learned a lot living down south. I learned how to predict someone's social class based on how much of my accent they understood. <laughs> Here's the formula, right? Every time I had to repeat myself. Add one acre to their country estate. <laughs> if I met someone really posh, I couldn't introduce myself as Chris. I had to introduce myself as Charlie. Hotel Romeo, India, Sierra. <laughs> I uh, decided um, <laughs> I decided I wanted to move somewhere that I could make myself more easily understood. So I ended up living in China. And moving there was a really easy decision for me because I googled it and it um, turns out that China specialises in two things. Fake designer products <laughs> and deep fried food. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Christmas to a guy from Glasgow, man. I'm surprised more Glaswegians didn't make the trip over there. Because <laughs> China also shares a border with Afghanistan. So they've got plenty of cheap heroin. I don't think the UK and China have properly understood each other's cultures though, right? Because I told my Chinese friends about Chinese takeaway food over here. They were fucking horrified. <laughs> by all the additives we put into it. And I think it speaks volumes that Chinese people were saying to me, listen mate, we will tolerate life shorteningly bad levels of air pollution. <laughs> but we draw the fucking line at a large sweet and sour chicken, man. <laughs> Now, we don't understand each other's cultures though, right? Because I went to an authentic British pub when I was in China. Two hours I was sitting in there, not once did someone try to sell me a dodgy Sky TV box. <laughs> they didn't have a guy sitting in the corner, like, weeping into a fruit machine, just waiting for someone to walk past him. So he could go, Ni hao ma. Chi chi hen kwai. Jiu hui, jiu fu. Which, as I'm sure you all know, is the Chinese for... All right, mate. <laughs> Trust me. This machine is definitely due to pay out any minute now. <laughs> I was in an Irish bar in China, and uh, all over the walls, they just had portraits of the Queen. <laughs> now... Either someone needs to give them a history lesson. <laughs> or I had somehow stumbled into the Shanghai branch of the IRA. <laughs> and that was their most wanted list. 